Hey Joe, Albert, is it Mexico safe? Is it Mexico safe? Is it Baja California safe? Is Tijuana safe? Is the water safe? Yes guys, everything is safe here. Obviously you have to be careful or uh, you have to use your common sense. You have to uh, be polite with people. Okay. Um, you don't want to wear shorts and sandals. Yes, if um, they start shooting. All right, you can run easily. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry for the bad joke right there. All right, so guys, uh, well, today I will uh, let you know what I uh, read, yes, recently. All right, this had happened um, in the past days in Mexicali, Baja California, the state of, I'm sorry, the capital of the state of Baja California, okay? So, well, um, this is kind of what, what it says on the paper, right? It says that, uh, there was a kid of 19 years old, a white guy, that's what it says, okay, and he was drinking just yes, by himself, having fun at this bar, doesn't say, right, I don't know if it was a bar, sports bar, a bar from a hotel, a strip club, nightclub, who knows. The thing is that he became a friend with an African-American guy, all right, so they uh, were drinking together, having fun, all right and the african-american invited this uh guy to his ranch or to a ranch in mexicali okay so well uh he accepted all right so they went to the ranch and what happened at the ranch they took everything from this uh guy okay uh they took everything all right uh the money the cell phone all right, everything, all right? The clothes, the uh, shoes, everything was taken off from this guy, all right? So he was able to escape from the ranch, all right? So he walked a very long distance and he went to a tire shop, all right? So the workers of this repair um, shop uh, took care of him, all right? He was able to communicate with these guys uh, the workers rather right called the police. They called the uh, the 911. Yes, 911 also works here. All right, actually it works in many countries. Okay, all right. So they called the emergency number, and basically what happened there? Uh, the the police department they took care of the guy. Uh, I'm sure they uh, are given shelter for I don't know a few hours, one day, two days. All right and they did canalize this guy to his uh, consulate all right so well I assume that this guy it's already in the US but not only uh, they took the money and all his belongings all right uh, he was raped okay by uh, these guys unfortunately that happened so I believe that's a very uh, tra uh, traumatic scene right there right you going out uh try to have fun with uh the people all right not only being rough but that he was raped okay so uh this guy is already back home and uh this had happened all right uh unfortunately and this guy uh currently um we don't know the name at least the uh what i read doesn't have any names only it says that was a white guy and an african-american guy i assume that this uh, how they call it an african-american guy uh met the locals right there at uh mexicali okay so um that's the only explanation that i find here so that's so uh that's a very strong situation right this uh kid uh being great okay that's that's a very strong situation right there all right so well um be careful um i cannot tell you to don't become friend of a, a guy that you don't know okay um you know um i have let's say not become friend but i started conversations with guys that i never met in my life okay but i have learned that you don't have to 
um, go out with them or yes uh, uh, stay for a long term um, with a conversation right there all right yes a few comments okay all that how cool guys take care bye bye all right that's what I can tell you that's how I do it okay uh, because you don't know it's not only about robbing you all right it's uh, because I, I have seen it right uh, a loud guy uh, from one second to another he may punch you he may do something stupid and you just don't want that to happen in your life all right or at least at that particular night you don't want an stranger to rain your night all right so that's why you don't want to um, let's say have fun with people that you don't know okay so well guys that's uh, what had happened unfortunately so um making a recap of the latest um, situations with um, foreigners right it seems like uh, people from other countries they have not been involved in other situations because I have to let you know uh, in this state they come from most places of this world right um, now with this global situation that is going on that had stopped a little bit but uh, we have people from Asia from Europe all right from uh, the Arabic countries all right so we have people from all over the world here all right typically uh, they, they just stay uh, not too long here okay I believe there's not much to see <laughs> all right but it's a fact they come from every place every country all right to this land okay so well um, and the statistics uh, or the recent statistics only people from the US are involved on them all right so uh, I have to let you know this is uh, the most visited a city of Mexico in terms of uh, tourism okay uh, got people who like to um, party people who like the uh, nightlife all right so uh, the numbers are very very low for people getting involved into uh, negative situations all right so you may come down here with all the confidence all right, just yes, be careful and nothing bad will happen to you. All right, guys, well, this is uh, just what I read on the paper. Okay, I will leave my email address. And remember, you have two ways of donating. You may send an e-gift card to my email address or you may utilize the PayPal account. All right, guys, be safe. All right, so I'm leaving my email address, guys. Remember, you have two ways of donating. You have the PayPal account, okay? And you have the option to go to Amazon.com, search for Amazon e-gift card, okay? Um, when, once you get to the Amazon e-gift card, you will select one of the preset amounts or just enter manually how much you want to send uh, starting from one dollar okay just make sure you enter my email address correctly and I will receive the e-gift card they will not charge you any other fees okay they will not charge me none um, other fees okay so um, that's another way of doing it this channel is not monetizing and unfortunately I don't believe that I will monetize within uh, the near future all right as well unfortunately uh, uh, this platform does not really allow this type of content to monetize all right I have uh, I watch this channel this uh, from this Colombian guy he does make this kind of content okay uh, and basically uh, he complains that he does not monetize at all okay so uh, but he has another uh, way of income for his content all right for example donations all right so if you would like to donate feel free all right so as well remember if you have questions comments or anything that I could answer I do answer uh, for free yes I do ask for donations but it's uh, donations are optional first I want to let you know that uh, I believe this is some kind of brotherhood because 
uh, I love going to Zona Norte, all right? If for I, it was for me, I was at Zona Norte daily, all right? But unfortunately, it's something that I cannot afford. I just go to Zona Norte, um, let's say every few months. Sometimes I go um, uh, every few days when I have money, all right? But I understand how you feel, all right, about um, this type of content. We don't uh, be respect no one. I try to keep a clean uh, language, okay, and um, not being graphical, all right. Okay. But that's uh, what I can tell you, right? If you decide to donate, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.